Hello fellow Ice and Fire nerds, this is Chris and this is going to be a Game of Thrones video about the pictures that HBO finally released yesterday about Game of Thrones Season 6. I know you guys have probably seen these pictures already, but what I want to do is take a look at these pictures and kind of delve into them just a little bit and speculate on what the scene may be based off just a still image. So potential spoilers here, again it's just speculation, but there are some things that happened in the books that hasn't happened in the show yet. If you want to go into April and not know anything about Game of Thrones, go ahead and click away now. Otherwise, let's jump right in because we're getting so damn close. Yes, April is coming. So the first thing we have Tyrion and Varys, and it looks like they're standing together in Marine. And I'm assuming based off the background that shit's just not going very well since Danny's been gone. There's only one guy in the background, otherwise it looks like a pretty barren street. Tyrion's kind of got a look on his face like, oh shit, what the hell have I done? And I'm just kind of thinking maybe this is related to the dragons. Maybe he's the one that released the dragons in the show because in the books it was slightly different. Quentin Martell released them and got killed doing it and they kind of tore up the city. But they're both staring at something pretty damn hard here, so I'm just guessing that it may be related to the release of Assyrian and Rhaegal, Danny's other two dragons that have been locked up. But either way, they're looking at something they don't seem too damn happy about. Next, we have a picture of Cersei with her hair grown back a little bit since her walk of shame. And this is just complete speculation here based off the picture, but it looks like she's just now heard that Marcella is dead, perhaps, or maybe this is when she hears Jamie is actually fixing to arrive back at King's Landing before she hears about Marcella's death. She has already found out that Marcella is dead, and she knows Tom is her only child left. She's probably thinking, I wish I'd have never went to that damn woods witch, Maggie the Frog. And next we have our Dragon Queen Danny standing in front of what looks to be the Kalasar that captured her. Now this did go down slightly different in the books. When the Kalasar finds her in the book, she already has Drogon standing beside her. But obviously in the show she was captured a little bit differently and she dropped the ring for somebody to find her because Drogon wasn't with her. So I'm just assuming here this is back at Vostoth Rock perhaps, or at least on the way back there. This obviously implies they're not treating her very well until obviously Drogon shows up and they shit their breeches. And the next one we have Tyrion in the room with Masande and Grey Worm it looks like. And it looks like Grey Worm's back to health which is a good thing. And it looks like Masande's kind of sitting there watching Tyrion. And oddly enough he's pouring wine back into the flagon which is usually the other way around for him. You know he's kind of the drinker in our story. So maybe all this ruling without Danny around is kind of getting to him and he's like you know I need to kind of fucking stay sober every once in a while. And not to mention there may be two dragons on the loose. Next we have one of Sansa and Theon in it. So they're obviously still together and it looks like that it, in this particular picture that Theon is either begging her to do something like come with him or she's actually trying to convince Theon who's you know on this redemption arc and hopefully he's Theon again to go north with her to find Jon. So I'm assuming that she's going to try to head north to Jon, uh, perhaps another northern house that's loyal to the Starks. I'm assuming they're going to have some kind of issue about where to go. It may end up that Sansa tries to take off north. Perhaps Brienne finally meets up with Sansa and takes her to the north. And Theon may end up back on the Iron Islands dealing with the Ironborn, which we haven't seen a lot of in the show so far, but it is a bigger story in the books. And next we have Arya. Now Arya is blind, of course, and this was done a little bit differently in the show than it was the books. In the books, being blind was not really a punishment as they portrayed it in the show so much. It was just part of her training of taking away one of her senses to sharpen the others. So here she is the blind girl pretending to be a beggar. So I don't expect her to be blind through the whole season. As a matter of fact, I'm hoping by the end of this season that she's actually back in Westeros and I'm assuming she's going to stop by and see Hot Pie again. And then we have one of the High Sparrow. This is pretty straightforward. It's, it's hard to tell here, but obviously he's looking down, thinking about something. Perhaps he's thinking about his so-called duty to take down the Lannisters and Tyrells. Looks like he's leaning down and either thinking about something or possibly talking to somebody. Maybe this is when he talks to Marjorie. She's already out of the dungeons in the books, but in the show, she's still in the dungeons and Cersei got out first. And speaking of Marjorie, it looks like in the next one, we have Marjorie standing with a septa in her cell, about to be released. Apparently, maybe she's confessing. Marjorie looks to be having a bad hair day, and it looks like she is confessing confessing to the woman because she is holding a book, probably the Seven Pointed Star, I'm assuming, and reading some kind of passage to her. And then we have Jamie and Tommen, and they're standing over the body of Marcella. Obviously, he's already got back to King's Landing at this point, so it's not really been a good year for the Lannisters as far as using this particular room. And next, we have everybody's favorite character, Ramsay Bolton. It looks like he's actually waiting on someone here. It looks like he's in Winterfell. It looks like he's waiting to hear some news or waiting for somebody to approach him. The way he's kind of standing at attention with his hands together, this reminds me of when he was waiting for Sansa 
during their wedding when he was waiting on the bride to be presented to him. So it looks like he's waiting on something formal here. Next, of course, we have Brienne, and she's still in her armor, so I'm assuming she's still up north looking for Sansa. Although Sansa now has escaped, and she went and killed Stannis, she doesn't know that. So she's probably still hanging around out there trying to figure out what's going on and where Sansa is. Perhaps she tries to get into Winterfell to find out where Sansa is. But either way, hopefully she ends up with Sansa and kind of helps her out getting where she needs to go. And then we have Sam the Slayer and Gilly, and this is them on a boat to Old Town. So it looks like Sam has had some bad Taco Bell, and he's about to heave into that bucket there. And it looks like Gilly's kind of standing over him as usual, kind of finding out how he is, but she looks kind of worried about him, or at least worried about whatever they just heard about. So they're on a way to the Citadel. Again, in the books, they are already at the Citadel, and Sam has already met a character named Marwyn the Mage, who is a pretty big player as far as some of the conspiracy theories in our story but we'll see if he shows up in the show or not. And next we have Jamie and Cersei. Now, what I like about this picture, Jamie is kind of leaning down, Cersei is sitting down, so I'm thinking this is the actual scene where Jamie tells Cersei about Marcella's death, or at least telling her what happened to her, or what he thinks happened to her as far as the poisoning, possibly trying to prevent a war. She may want to kill Tristane instantly because he was on the boat as well, going back to King's Landing, and of course, the Sand Snakes and them wanted a war, and you're gonna see probably Jamie and Cersei get split even further here, I think. Then we have Davos, and Davos looks pissed off. He looks like he's probably staring down at somebody ready to kill him, and I'm assuming that would probably be Melisandre. He's now learned that Stannis is dead. He's probably heard that Shireen was burned by Melisandre, or actually Stannis allowed it to happen. So he's probably looking at Melisandre like, I'm going to kill you, damn witch. And speaking of the hot red witch, Melisandre is on horseback, so... If she's on a horseback, she's probably going somewhere. She had just gotten back to Castle Black at the end of Season 5, so she's about to leave again. So I'm going to assume this is after John has been resurrected. Yes, he will be back in some way, shape, or form. And she's probably going to now be kind of his sidekick and realize what's going on, realize she was misinterpreting everything she saw in the first place, and now realizes who John is, has possibly helped him in the resurrection. We'll see how that comes to pass, but either way, this is probably her riding alongside him and his new host to take Winterfell because she did see herself on the battlements of Winterfell. She was just wrong about who the damn person to take Winterfell was. And then we have Balon Greyjoy, and he's looking at somebody like, what the fuck, are you kidding me? And I'm assuming that he just heard the news that his brother Euron is on his way. And in the next one, of course, we have everybody's favorite characters, Roos and Ramsay Bolton. And it looks like in this scene, they're still in Winterfell, but they're both listening to somebody. So I'm assuming they're getting some news here. And that news is probably that an army from Castle Black is on its way. Perhaps they're discussing strategy, but it looks like they just heard that somebody's on their way to take Winterfell, and it's not Stannis this time. And our next to last one, we have Yara Greyjoy, and it looks like she's standing here in this particular scene. She has her armor on, so she's not a captive in the books. She is actually already a captive of Stannis. I'm assuming in this scene, being that she looks like she's on the coastline of the Iron Islands, that she is waiting for her uncle Euron to show up, or at least she's looking out and probably seeing his ship approach. Or maybe this is later in the season and Theon has shown up again. Who knows? And finally, my favorite of the group, Bran and Bloodraven. Now, what's really, really cool here to me is that Bran has obviously grown up a lot, and Bloodraven is standing beside him, a much younger man than he actually is in real life. So this obviously is some kind of flashback, and I really dig the way they're going to do this. It looks like that when he goes back into the past to see things, has flashbacks, or he sees things through the weirwood trees, that we're going to actually see him there with Bloodraven as he explains things to him. I'm going to assume, based off the picture, this is in Winterfell, just like in the books, when he sees flashbacks of Winterfell when he's getting his lessons to become a true Jedi Knight. I'm sorry, Green Seer. And Bloodraven is with him, probably telling him what's going on. It would be kind of boring for him just to be stuck in a weirwood throne. So I'm assuming that whenever we see a flashback, that Bran and Bloodraven will actually be there in the scene so they can talk about and discuss what's going on in that scene, being the past or the present. But either way, I think it's a really good way to do it visually because otherwise you'd just never see Bran again. And if you did, you'd just see him sitting there in a weirwood throne with trees wrapping around him like Bloodraven. It wouldn't be very visually appealing. In the books, you can kind of do that in your imagination. And it looks like to me, whatever we find out about Bran and his flashbacks, they're actually going to be present in the moment, at least as narrators, although other people won't even know they're there, obviously, because this is the past. So anyway, guys, that's all I had for today. I know there's a couple more pictures that were released, but they're pretty much the same as some of the other ones, so I didn't want to go over every single one of them when they're basically the same picture. You had a couple more of Sansa, a couple more of Danny. 
Let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. What do you think these scenes are in these new pictures? And it looks like we're going to have a full-fledged trailer this weekend, possibly Sunday. So I'll definitely jump on that one as far as a video when that comes out. I also got a lot more stuff coming up as well. But in the meantime, you can click here on the last video I did on Game of Thrones prophecy and prophecy and a song of ice fire and game of thrones and what does that really mean a few specific theories as well that i go over and you can also click here on the last video i did on magic in the world of restoros talking about magic what it means what is it where did it come from why did it go away in the first place and now why is it coming back and all kinds of speculation about that so check those out let me know what you think thanks for all the support you guys be sure to subscribe to get everything thanks for watching and we'll see you next time Shepherds.